We've been around since 1926. Started out as a gas station in between Atlantic City and Philadelphia and uh, started um, making parts for the glass industry. And as they started to automate, we, uh, they asked us to make conveyors to bring products from point A to point B. In my experience going into plants, um, conveyance is a lot of times is an afterthought. A lot of times we're the last people they think of. And uh, we can make such an impact. Everybody's engineering resources are taxed and they're, they have limited capabilities in-house, so they want, uh, want to be able to go to one vendor. Because if it doesn't work, or those two pieces don't marry up, um, they don't want pointing of the fingers. So the demonstration that we'll be showing at Pack Expo has um, a accumulation table feeding uh, four lanes out uh, to a shuttle mechanism that allows us to release a 4x4 four four pattern of bottles that uh, goes to a pick location for the Escala robot. We're using a vacuum pick head to pick up that 4x4 that four four array and it then simulates putting it into a case or onto a pallet. The control for this demo is something called singular control from Yuskawa. Uh, what makes this a little unique is a traditional robot that's programmed usually in a proprietary robot language. Then you've got a machine controller that's doing the other coordination. Singular control is controlling robots. It's also controlling AC drives. Um, there's no servos to control in this particular application but you've got servo axes ready to go that are not gonna cost anything to add. You have a single programming platform, which is IEC 61131. So if it's the first time they've done a robot project, you have a better shot of them understanding the programming environment with the IEC 61131. In addition to singular control, we programmed this machine with the PACML format. And PACML format provides a standard structure and a standard communication path for upstream and downstream machines. And what it does for the end user is it provides consistency for that look and feel for all these machines that may have come from different OEMs. They have an immediate understanding without the need for training and uh, requesting HMI changes. It just makes it easier for them. It's, it's, a, it's a system that is the future. Everybody is using it or they will be using it very shortly. BCS was the best solution on the control end of things that we don't have that expertise in. And uh, Yaskawa, in terms of the, the robotic end of things, was a great fit because they have the, all the robots that we need to do the things that our customers need to do. And by marrying all three groups together, it's a good fit for our customer it's reliable, uh, that all three companies have been around for a long time and they can come to one person and we're all on the same page.